Hey there guys, special message here. So, I'm sure more than a few of you all are watching this video on either YouTube or perhaps embedded on Facebook. And uh, for those of you that are, did you know that you can also get all of my videos in podcast form? That's right. If you go to drexfactor.com, you'll see a lovely little link on the right-hand side of the page that will take you to an RSS feed that includes download links for each and every one of my tech blogs, which is really, really handy if you'd like to watch my videos on your mobile device of choice and you're not always on an internet connection. Uh, you can also look it up on the iTunes store using the keywords Drex and Poi. And if you do so, pretty please uh, leave either a comment or a rating on my podcast so that it'll help other people find it. Thank you guys so much, and uh, on with the show. What's up? Hey guys, so uh, this is Strex, and I am in Lafayette Park with Jer Jaren. Uh, so this is going to be a tutorial on how to do the 4B partner weave. Now, Gerald here has never met me, and he has never held a boy in his life, right? Right. Okay, cool. So, I've long maintained that I can teach this move 10 minutes or less to absolutely anybody, so we're going to find out if I'm right about that. So, first things first. This, my friend, is a boy. And the first thing that you're going to have to do is practice just swinging it on one side of you and then switching back and forth which side of you it's swinging. Yeah? Good. Now, you're going to do this such that you get in one, two rotations on the front of you and switch back and forth. One, two, switch back and forth. One, two, switch. Yeah, perfect. Okay. So, Gerald is one side of this movement. The other side of this movement is going to be doing it in this manner right here, which to you guys on camera looks like it's the same direction, but I'm actually, relative to me, going the opposite direction that Gerald is. It feels like it's going backwards to me instead of forwards. So, the person who's doing that end of things as well is also going to be doing it. One, two, in front of them, switch back. One, two, switch back. One, two, switch back, right? Okay, so here's the next step. Ready for this? I'm going to take the boy out of your hands. Uh, go ahead and take a step just a little bit this way to make sure we get everything on camera. And you're gonna walk up to you're gonna stand here And here's an important thing. You're gonna have one person take a step to the side. So there you can imagine you can draw a straight line between your feet this way and a straight line between your feet that way. Yeah? Now Cheryl is gonna start off with his hand directly out in front of him. And I'm going to initiate this movement, so I am going to reach my arm down around under his. The Gerald here, once he gets to this position, is going to drop his hand down to his hip. He's going to reach back behind himself, straight up, out forward again, right? Now I will be waiting to put my arm out right here when he gets back to forward. Now you're going to pull our two arms down between us. Perfect. Now your hand is going to wait right there while I go up, back, down, come around and meet you again. I pull you through, you go down, back, up, forward, good. I go up, back, down, forwards. Yeah. And now we try and see if we can do this container. Yes, just like that. 
And that's it. One quick tip. Never ever move away from your partner as you're doing this because it's guaranteed you're going to hit each other. The further you have to reach, the more likely you're going to hit each other. So, uh, another quick tip. Uh, have some give in your elbows as you're doing this. Make them more flexible rather than rigid. And that'll also help you use it. Yeah. So as my arm is here, I'm going to so my one will be off. Yes, exactly. Perfect. Let's give that one more try. Thank you guys for watching.